everyone, it is Mike Lesson as I continue my uh, harvest vlogs here for the 2018 season. I'm actually away from the combines right now. Both combines are running, uh, one down in Preble County, trying to get the soybeans done down there and run one just a few miles away, knocking off some soybeans. And I'm out here finishing up the winter wheat. So they're putting out about 200 acres of winter wheat this year. They got 40 acres left. Well, 30 now, because I just planted 10. But uh, anyways, gonna try to get this wrapped up today. There is rain on the way. Talked to a guy in Illinois, it's raining there already. It's supposed to be raining here by nine o'clock, so should be in good shape. So I'll just show you the planting rig here. I got the 7830 out, used that last year with a 1560 drill. Uh, they got rid of the 1560 drill and we're here drilling with the uh, Case IH drill, 15 foot, and then of course the Blue Jet uh, colder cart, which uh, works out pretty good here. As you can see, the dirt is just a little heavy right now, but it's just rains and rains and rains. It doesn't get real fit. Now they have wheat that is already up over there. Like I said, this is the last field. Just had to get the, they just had to get the beans off here. Uh, soybeans that is, and um, get the last of this wheat in. So, um, like I said, pretty, uh, pretty damp yet, but uh, It'll be fine. You can see the mud sticking to the packers and so forth. But anyways, going to get it in and uh, hopefully get done here before the rain hits. Okay, so I'm running along here about five and a half, six mile an hour. This is a little field, so uh, just a little nine acre field here. And uh, I got to jump over into about a 30 acre field to finish up. But uh, yeah, like I said, everything's uh, going good and uh, should be wrapped up today. good. is gonna just about work out perfect that never happens so another dead ash tree a um, little bit out of breath here just move that out of the way by hand a couple little branches to pick up yet but these ash trees uh, killed off the last few years by that emerald ash borer quite a mess and you can just see all of them out there and they're all gonna fall eventually 
so it makes good firewood but anyways I didn't know that was there I maybe would have tried to get the loader tractor out here anyways looks like the rain is coming so I better quit screwing off with the video camera and get to work but we better check the drill well I got enough to get the field lined out and then I'll run back to the tender and fill up again Right, there's a few sprinkles showing up on the windshield of the tractor I have to go fill the drill but let's take a look at the radar quick here and uh, see what's going on like the rain is just about to hit us so doesn't look like heavy but uh, it'll be enough to stop planting wheat but I'm gonna run back and uh, fill the drill and hope for the best here the drill up here and since it's farm truck Friday I'm gonna jump in the old Chevy here and back the seed tender up
could have done any better there if I try. Right, it's uh, drizzling, sprinkling, but I'm gonna go try back and try to get a couple more rounds in anyhow until I can't go anymore. Okay, uh, one thing I should explain here is, you know, I make these YouTube videos about farming and sometimes you just guess that everybody knows what you're talking about or how things go, but uh, farming is different all across the country and the world. So uh, when I said I'm planting winter wheat here or drilling winter wheat, whatever you want to call it, uh, this is getting planted in the fall of the year and in this area, normally going to start planting this the end of September. Uh, up into November and this wheat will sprout and it'll start growing here this fall and once the cold weather hits the wheat will go dormant and it'll set over the winter it'll still be green for the most part depending how cold we get and how much snow cover we got but it'll it'll remain green and then usually the end of March as the temperatures start warming up good and stuff uh, is when it starts regrowing or kind of starts its second growth and wheat in this area is usually ready to combine anywhere from the end of June to the 4th of July generally. So now when you get out into Western Canada, Montana, the Dakota, some of them states, they plant spring wheat. So it just obviously wheat they plant in the spring and it just grows through the season and then they harvest that later in the summer. So no spring wheat around here. And actually in Ohio, 
Ohio is mostly a corn and soybean state, but uh, there's a good bit of wheat grown here. Uh, some guys have livestock and uh, we'll sell the wheat, of course, and, and then bale the straw for their livestock for bedding and so forth. And uh, some guys will go back in and plant soybeans, uh, what they call double crop soybeans, no-till them into the wheat stubble. We're kind of on the border of some years that works really good here and other years not so good. Uh, a lot of times them get planted in July and that's when we start our dry season. And uh, depending if we don't get any rain in August or September, they don't do real good and it might yield just in that 20, 25 bushel. Now this past growing season probably would have been a good year. We've had exceptional amounts of rain all summer and fall here. So uh, double crop beans probably would have done really well this past season, but we'll just have to see what next year brings and decide uh, the Martins that I help farm here uh, typically will combine their wheat and then just plant a cover crop on it. They will bale the straw. They do have some uh, dairy uh, steers and so forth. So they will bale some straw. And like I said, just plant a cover crop. They have not done the double crop beans since I've been helping them. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope that explanation helps. And if I think of anything else, I'll get back on here and talk about it. But for now, I gotta run the wipers every now and then, but it's not not wet enough to stop me. So I've made uh, I've made quite a few rounds here since uh, I filled the drop and pulled back in here. So hopefully, keep going. We're officially rained out here, so it's uh, planted through drizzle for about an hour got several more acres done but uh it's raining hard enough now stuff was sticking to the quarters and stuff so we'll finish it another day